The President, please be seated. Court is now in session. As the chamber has already informed the parties to the proceedings that today's sessions are about the presentations of key documents concerning the roles of the accused, documents proposed by the co-prosecutors, and the sessions will also be meant for the objections from parties to the proceedings concerning the same topic. Before we proceed to the co-prosecutors, Mrs. Sakovati is now instructed to report to the chamber concerning the status of the parties to the proceedings as of today. Mr. Saikovati, good morning, Mr. President and Your Honours. All parties to the proceedings are present, except Mr. Canavas, who is absent due to his personal health concerns. Mr. Yimsari is present in his holding cell due to his health concerns. Mr. Nunji is also absent due to his health concerns as he is still admitted to the hospital. The accused has already submitted his waiver document, E258-2, Mr. Kilsampon is also absent due to his health concerns. However, yesterday he, through his counsel's request, to waive his presence uh, during the proceeding today. The President, uh, thank you, Mrs. Sakovati. Concerning the absence of Mr. Nunchir, the Chamber still upholds uh, its uh, decision. La Chambre maintient la décision qu'elle a déjà rendue. Mr. Nunchir, uh, rather, the decision has already been made uh, at the beginning of the hearing, and the Chamber notes uh, his health concerns and also notes that uh, he is still being admitted uh, to the hospital. Que est Mr. Hospitalisé. Kyosampan, Quant à Monsieur Kyosampan, as to this case, uh, the Chamber wishes to recall la Chambre, the parties, uh, the document, fait référence the public document uh, that issued before the hearing session yesterday at the conclusion of the hearing on the 29th of January 2013, the Kilsampan defense indicated uh, the accused's willingness to waive his presence during the presentation of documents considered most relevant to la présentation des documents the truth in case comme les pour la manifestation de la vérité dans le dossier. The chamber emphasizes the importance of the key documents hearing, the potential for inculpatory evidence to be discussed, and the consequence, desirability of having the accused Present during the presentation of documents related to the accused. The chamber, however, notes the accused only recently returned to the ECCC detention facility after being admitted to the Khmer Soviet Friendship Hospital and that he remains weak. The chamber is consequence, in consequence grants the accused's request in part and permits his absence 
from the proceedings during the presentation of documents relevant to the accused Yang Zari and Nun Chie. However, the accused Kyo Sampan is ordered to be present during the presentation of the documents relevant to his own conduct. The co-prosecutors have indicated that they will present key documents related to Kyo Sampan on the afternoon of Wednesday, the 30th of January, and the morning of Thursday, 31st of January. The Chamber therefore orders the accused to participate in these sessions from the ECCC holding cell. Next, uh, we would like to hand over to the co-prosecutors for this. The presentation of the co-prosecutor is relevant to the roles of the accused. The Chamber notes uh, Mr. Kong Som On is on his feet. Uh, he may proceed. La défense se manifeste. Je vous en prie, Kong Maître Kong Som Ol. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, before co-prosecutors uh, to present the documents concerning the key roles of the accused, uh, may we ask that uh, the co-prosecutors be instructed uh, to send or submit all the list of the documents to be presented during the proceedings to the defense counsels. We know that there are a lot of Nous documents to be presented, and we perhaps have no time uh, to read them all, but it would be of great assistance if the co-prosecutors can do so, Your Honours. We are grateful. The President, co-prosecutors, could you also advise the Chamber on this? Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, uh, Gallery and uh, Council. Uh, Your Honours, uh, we would be happy to provide a uh, list to the defence. Uh, our difficulty has been, as you know, because of the uh, fairly short scheduling, uh, people have been working late to work out what those um, what best, best documents could illustrate uh, the cases. So um, we will provide them. Um, as soon as possible. Nous allons porter cela à la connaissance des uns et des autres dès que possible. This is, Your Honour, this is for the list of documents. Ça, ça is that right? La liste des documents, n'est-ce pas? Le président. The president, uh, yes, indeed, uh, it is the list of the documents uh, the co-prosecutors wish uh, to present uh, during uh, these sessions. We hope uh, that's uh, answered uh, Council's question. Que la uh, Council for Mr. Yingsari, you may now proceed. Council, I'm a dumb. Good morning, Mr. Mr. President and Your Honours. Good morning to everyone in and around Bonjour the courtroom. Yesterday, the co-prosecutors uh, indicated that they were ready to present the documents, and we have been waiting documents. for the list of the documents uh, to be delivered de to us. We have not received Or, uh, it yet. Rien reçu. We also note that the co-prosecutors stated that they could have been doing their best uh, to make sure that the defense uh, be offered uh, the documents. But they should have been prepared, and as parties to the proceedings, they should be well prepared to know what kind of documents to be presented and to be shared with the, the learned colleagues, uh, because we, as the defense counsel, so may need some time to also review the documents nous avons and consult with our client respectively concerning what the uh, we are going to do with the documents. Unfortunately, the documents are going to be presented, although we have not vont been être well informed. Alors même que nous pas été du moins
The chamber wishes to hand over to Judge Cartwright to respond to the remark made by counsel for Mr. Inzari. Thank you, President. Uh, the um, chamber does not accept the objections made uh, by national counsel for the Kyo Sampan and Yeng Sari's teams. Uh, the prosecutor has um, indicated that he has done his best, and uh, at the last segment of this document hearing, it was obvious to uh, the um, chamber that the prosecutors and the Yang Sari team were the only ones prepared for uh, the document hearing, and uh, the chamber considers first uh, that it is inappropriate to criticise uh, the prosecutor when the teams themselves have not been prepared to the limits of their ability given the disadvantages that each team has encountered. And secondly, all documents are on the case file and the parties must be uh, able to follow uh, reasonably uh, expeditiously everything that the prosecutor does. So the objections are not sustained. Les documents sont Thank you. Et donc, l'objection est rejetée. The President. Counsel, do you have any new issue to raise? If it is the same issue, you are not allowed to raise it again because it has already ruled upon. But if it is a new issue, you may do so. You may proceed. Counsel, uh, Mr. President, I would like to uh, correct myself. I did not mean to object against the document presentation. It is my uh, pure uh, observation concerning this uh, presentation. I have no objection uh, in respect to the uh, document presentation. The President. Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Mr. Chandaramasmai, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone uh, in the courtroom and member of the public in the gallery. This morning, I am going to present some of the key documents concerning the role and responsibility of Mr. Ying Sari. Uh, he held uh, during the period of the Democratic Cambodia, as well as. Um, during the period when the Communist Party of Cambodia ruled uh, Cambodia. And I would like to present some of those key documents in order as follows. The prosecutor will make use of the time allocated by the chamber uh, to present 29 documents and eight video clips, which evidence uh, the roles of Mr. Kilsumpon, um, rather Mr. Ying Sari, when uh, he was in power. These documents will reveal to the public as well as the court the various evidence concerning the activities of the Democratic Cambodia under the jurisdiction of this tribunal, and this document will be presented in order, and it will take us two to three days uh, to present these documents and video clips, and the documents that and video clips we are going to present are the uh, key documents which reveal the various uh, activities, speeches, um, and other statements made by Mr. Ying Sari. And we will also bring to the attention of the chamber uh, telegrams as well as minutes of the meeting. And we are going to present the compilation of uh, those documents in a compilation Nous allons remettre à la chambre in sequential orders. De tous ces and these documents uh, will be presented uh, in chronological order Nous so that uh, we will be able to um, 
show to the court and the public uh, the truth of what happened during the democratic Cambodia period. When I say uh, the democratic Cambodia period, we also mention uh, some preceding activities that Mr. Ying Sari uh, did uh, before uh, the democratic Cambodia. Um, leadership took uh, power. And as for uh, the key evidence that we are going to uh, present, we are going to select only a few um, uh, documents, and then I will hand over to Mr. William Smith, uh, who will present additional documents. And I believe uh, that the evidence uh, that we are going to present, both the uh, documentary evidence as well as the video clip, uh, will assist the court to ascertain the truth. And the prosecutor will also will, will not uh, present the uh, testimony of witnesses or experts uh, uh, for uh, this presentation. And I would like to seek leave uh, from the chamber to, uh, for Mr. William Smith uh, to present uh, this document and video clips. Uh, may I ask your leave, Mr. President, so that my colleagues can uh, present uh, these documents and video clips? The President, yes, uh, international prosecutor, oui. you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, uh, as my colleague yes, just mentioned, um, we are presenting four types of documents. Uh, the first type will be documents in relation to uh, Yang Sari's connection. Um, to the CPK as, a, as an ordinary member. Secondly, we'll present documents Ensuite, that are connected to Yang Sari in his role as a standing committee uh, member. And third, uh, documents would be presented in connection to his role Troisième as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Ce sont les documents qui and finally, comme um, des affaires étrangères. a group of documents will be interviews with the accused um, in relation to his role. Uh, both uh, shortly before, qui during son the period, the Democratic Cambodia period, Democratic and uh, Democratic afterwards. Et and if I can begin with the first document, it is in fact um, the uh, few agreed facts that were en fait, uh, agreed to by Mr. Yang Sari at the beginning of this trial uh, to understand um, his role during the period, those facts as to uh, his activities prior to 1975 are essential to understanding the documents and how they related to him uh, during the CPK period. Your Honours, uh, if I can refer to E9-21.3, that's Annex A, that's E00656964 to 81. This is a copy of uh, the indictment paragraphs, and they were sent to uh, Mr. Yang Sari and his defence team, and they highlighted facts in relation to his role prior to 1975 with some short commentary on a few facts which he disagreed. If we look at Paragraph nine, 995 of the indictment, Mr. Yang Sari has agreed that in 1950, paragraph 996, he agreed he returned to Phnom Penh in 1957. He agreed he was a professor of history and geography at Phnom Penh in 1957. Il a confirmé qu'il était professeur d'histoire et de géographie au collège privé de Kampuchea-Bot jusqu'à son entrée dans la clandestinité en 1963. Il est d'accord pour dire qu'en 1960, il a participé au premier congrès du Parti des travailleurs Khmer, anciennement PRPK et prédécesseur du PCK. Il était membre du comité central et a été élu au comité central et devenu un membre de plein droit du comité permanent. He agreed 
that in April 1963, after being named by Sienov as one of the 34 known around the same time as Sun Sen to join Pol Pot. He agreed in 1966. He and other members Il est moved aussi to of the CPK, moved to Ratnakiri in the northeast, where a new central committee was established, where the Yangsari then became the northeast zone 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 secretary. In 1970, Yangsari traveled to Hanoi, where he organized the voice of the radio station, radio then managed by Yang Tirit from Hanoi. Yang Sari Depuis flew Hanoi, Beijing Yang Sari se déplaça à Pékin, où, où il fut en charge des relations avec le Parti communiste chinois. À partir de 1971, il fut basé de façon permanente à Pékin. Il devint, dans le temps, envoyé spécial de la résistance interne à Pékin et chargé des relations avec Norodom Sihanouk. He agreed that during this period, he returned to Cambodia twice, once in 1973, au Cambodge, when he accompanied Narodong Sihanouk to visit the liberated zones, and again in 1974, he returned to Cambodia twice, once in 1974, he returned to Cambodia twice, once in 1974, he returned to Cambodia twice, once in 1974, he also agreed that during the CPK regime, he used the revolutionary alias of Van. Your Honours, I would now ask that we show a video. It's E slash two, three, four, eight, R. Now this video depicts the meeting or records the meeting of Norodon Sihanouk and Yang Sari with the other leaders of the CPK, including Pol Pot, Hugh Sampan, Hugh Nim, in the liberated zone, and including a visit to Angkor Wat in March 1973. This is the visit that he has agreed to in the brief facts. At the same time the video has been played, Pol Pot is narrating about how he became the leader of the party. Paul Pot expliqué comment il est devenu one minute and 35 seconds and uh, with your honor's leader leave, du parti c'est un extrait de 1 minute 35 secondes et je demanderai à la chambre de bien vouloir demander à la régie de le projeter. Le président, oui, allez-y. The president, you may proceed. Oh. Da Mang Hai Agisa. Avi Tenishin. Je demande au président à la régie. Please uh, play this video clip as per the request by the prosecutor. It was my character when seen I was young. I did not speak much. Je n'ai pas dit grand chose. Then another also interviewed Mr. Zach Vaxes, and Vaxes told his author uh, that uh, Vaxes had known me for about 20 to 30 years, and according to him, I was a young man who was polite, discreet, and cheerful. I did not want to appear as a leader. And friends asked me about my past. Amis, euh, posé des à de mon passé. I told them that firstly I worked a great deal, and then fortune played a major et, part in my life. 
such as when I became the Secretary of the Party, there was no one else. So they gave me the job. I said I, didn't, I did not want the position. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honour. Um, Your Honour's obviously saw Yang Sari in that, uh, in that video clip with the other leaders. Turning back to um, the facts agreed by Yang Sari, paragraph 33, he agreed as of the 17th of April, the CPK was governed by a statute which had been initially adopted at the party's first congress in September 1960. At paragraph 20, he agreed 20, that the 1960 Congress, at which the KPRP became a workers' party, was the real starting point of the Cambodian Communist Movement. He agreed, at paragraph 35, that both the Central Committee and the Standing Committee were comprised of full rights and candidate or reserve members. Candidate status de was a lower ranking than full les... rights. He then agreed a candidate member was allowed to participate in meetings without the right of decision making. <coughs> Paragraph 42, he agreed that Pol Pot was the highest Paragraph authority in the CPK as a secretary of the standing committee. Le... He agreed Pot that to talk to Pol Pot was the same as talking to the party. At paragraph 43, he agreed Nguyen Chia was second in the Standing Committee hierarchy, followed by Tam He agreed in Pol Pot's absence, Nguyen Chia was presided over the meetings of the Standing Committee. In paragraph 22, he agreed after the disappearance in 1962 of the Secretary of the Workers' Party, whose disappearance was never elucidated, a second party congress was held in late February 1963. 1963. Salos Saar became the new Et secretary, and Nguyen Chia became Nguyen Chia deputy secretary. secretary this congress was held in Phnom Penh, and the Phnom participants Phnom Penh, were again a small group that included Yang Sari and Sao Ping, both of whom were elected full rights members of the Standing Committee. Tamok, Vonvet, A few months later, after the government published a list of 34 known leftists, Pol Pot and a number of the other named party leaders, including Yang Sari and Son Sen, fled the capital. They took refuge at a Vietnamese base on the border, where they later established an office known as Office 100. He agreed by 1965 they were joined by their spouses, Q Ponnery, Yung Tarit, and Yat. Nguyen Chia, whose identity had remained secret, and hence was not on the list of 34, stayed in Phnom Penh and assumed responsibility for the party operation in the capital and most of the zone. He agreed at paragraph 23 that in 1967 several party leaders agreed to launch a general uprising in 1968. On choisit de lancer un soulèvement armé. He agreed a central committee headquarters, also called Office 100, was relocated. Also, 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 was uh, the uh, Yang Sari has disagreed and put in a, an alternative word, and I'm reading in uh, the word. C'est là que Yang Sari n'était pas d'accord, et ils ont utilisé une expression différente de ce qu'il y avait dans leur structure à l'origine. C'est pourquoi j'ai utilisé l'expression dans laquelle Yang Sari a Ensuite, he agreed that Prince Narodom Sihanouk was overthrown by General Lon Nol. And Prince le prince Nordom Senouk a été renversé par le général Lan Nol en 18 mars 1970 et le prince Senouk attaque les cas institués à un régime qui par la suite est le nom de République Khmer. Le 23 mars 1970, Senouk annonce la création du Front National Uni 
du Kampuche yeah, et appelé ses compatriotes à se révolter contre le nouveau gouvernement. Paragraph 27, he agreed he went to Hanoi in early 1991 to organize the radio, the voice of funk, which was placed under the authority and control of Yang Turit until May 1975. Whereafter, in April 71, 1971, he traveled to Beijing to serve as a special emissary of the resistance movement. movement. At his villa in Beijing, Yang Sari had a direct telegraph link to Office 100. The existence of the Communist Party of Kampuchea was not officially announced until September 1977. That's what he agreed to at paragraph 18. Your Honour, they are the agreed facts that in relation to the role of Yang Sari prior to 1975, and I think they're particularly relevant in understanding what positions he took up once the CPK gained power and the extent and scope of those roles. Your Honour, the next document um, I would like to refer to is E3-214. This is the statute of the Communist Party of Kampuchea of 1976. Uh, your Honours have heard evidence that the statute came into existence from 1960 and changes were made over time. But bearing in mind the statute's early origins in proceeding in a chronological format, uh, I think it's appropriate to discuss this document now. Your Honour, this document is highly probative of evidence of the functions of the party and its members. Ce document est, uh, the statute legislates the purpose of the party, its organizational structure and responsibilities, les structures et les its organizational parties, principles, ses principles organizational the rights and duties of party members, des party party discipline, la discipline and criteria et for party leadership positions amongst other matters. To assist parties. in understanding Yang Sari's role Pour bien During the DK period, de Yang Sari, uh, there are a number of provisions il y a that are particularly relevant. Dispositions de ces statuts qui sont très pertinentes. If I can direct um, your honours to ERN 00180024, Khmer 00053009, this is the commencement of the statute where it lays out the fundamental principles and political stances of the party during the new era of socialist revolution and the construction of socialism. If we move down to page two of the Khmer, under this section, it briefly states the goals of the party. The current new strategic principles and stances of the Communist Party after totally and permanently achieving the national democratic revolution and after having taken la major strides in socialist revolution du Parti du is to continue to make and to achieve qui, la socialist la revolution in Kampuchea and to move forward towards communism de la in Kampuchea in the future. Et la et la in this historical framework, framework puis the vers Communist le Party of Kampuchea must defend the results of the revolution Le Parti and communiste du Kampuchea doit défendre les résultats de la révolution, well. défendre le pays correctement, ainsi que les travaux de l'édification du pays correctement. Le Parti prodigue et suit and la vision de l'autocritique prolétarienne, de son correct et ferme, et lutte absolument contre la vision et l'autocritique critique non prolétarienne s'oppose à la révolution des petits bourgeois, des capitalistes et des féodaux, des impérialistes et Following des réactionnaires. The Communist Party of Kampuchea Sur ce principe, le Parti communiste du Kampuchea résiste, lutte absolument contre l'idéalisme, l'empirisme, la science livresque. As your honors uh, would note, this statute um, has 
le réformisme. Very similar, uh, rhetoric. Comme vous pouvez voir, dans les principes de ces statuts, la rhétorique est la même que dans d'autres partis. Dans d'autres sections, faisant référence aux membres du parti. J'aimerais maintenant faire référence aux deux derniers paragraphes des principes fondamentaux. On les retrouve par exemple 6 à la page 6 et 7 de la version Khmer. And read. The Communist Party of Kampuchea clearly understands its extremely heavy task, its highest task. Every member of our party must strive to build and to consolidate the internal solidarity and unity of the party to make it stronger politically, ideologically, and organizationally at all times. And must always be on the offensive, forging himself in the heat. Constantly, always agitating, attacking, and pushing constantly inside the great, hot, and deep revolutionary movement of the popular masses and the work of peasants in the unions and cooperatives and the revolutionary army, making the socialist revolution and constructing socialism successfully as quickly as possible. Keeping on moving forward towards communism in our most beloved Kampuchea, and through this, making an important contribution inside the world revolutionary movement. Your Honours, now moving to the duties of a member of a part of the party, the duties of the party when they joined the party. That starts to. Outline and fill out perhaps the roles of any party member in the CPK, and in particular, of course, Yang Sari and the accused, the other accused. If we look at Article Two, where it states the duty of party members, it states. States every party member has the following duties. Duties among the popular masses. Obligations par rapport aux masses. To proselytize, 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 must be highly responsible to Avoir the popular masses, des masses, serve the popular masses, des masses with all the heart and unconditionally coeur, be polite with the popular masses, masses and strive to learn from the popular masses. Auprès des masses. B. Agitate the popular B. mass movement, especially the work of peasant popular masses les les in the unions and the cooperatives, and always be connected with the tasks of national de defense and building défense, democratic Kampuchea in the direction of socialist revolution and building socialist It then socialism. states the internal duties Puis, of the party member. A have a life inside a party branch organization regularly, one month, once monthly. Every party member, no matter how high his duty, even all the way up to the highest, must be in a party branch and have a regular branch life. B respect party organizational discipline unconditionally with the highest awareness. Always strive to build party political, ideological, and organizational stances to absorb them ever more firmly in order to implement the party politics, ideology, and organization ever better and ever more efficiently. D always and absolutely strive well and closely to consolidate internal party solidarity and unity. And E always and absolutely strive to maintain party secrecy with the highest standards of vigilance revolutionnaire haute en permanence. And F strive to implement the regime of criticism and self-criticism. The regime of inspection of revolutionary life used properly, carefully, and actively in order to build oneself and the internal party is a good example. And always fight, actively fight in the work of national defence and building the country of democratic Kampuchea according to the party's direction of socialist revolution and building socialism. 
and must have solid principles and stances of proletarian patriotism and building and proletarian internationalism et de l'internationalisme prolétarien. Strive to study culture, technology, science in order to increase la technique, la capacity to améliorer to serve les capacités dans le travail de défense du pays et de l'unification du démocratique démocratique in the direction of the socialist revolution and the building of socialism ever better, ever more efficiently. De mieux, de plus en plus Article 3 deals with the rights Article of party 3, members, which also relates to the role of Yang Sari. Every full rights Sarri. party member has the following Chaque rights to consider and discuss and join in decision making on all party affairs, doing this according to the principle of democratic centralism. If we look at Article 4, party discipline, it states, in order to maintain and to consolidate internal party solidarity and unity to be always good, the party has designated and raised the principle of respect for party discipline and organization. Party discipline is very firm, but stands on the principle of awareness of each individual party member. Each party member, regardless of position, must absolutely respect and follow party discipline. Respecting party discipline and organization is respecting the party political line, party ideological principles and stances, party ideological stance, organizational stances, and party statutes. To any party member or any party echelon opposing the party political line, party ideological stances, party organizational stances, and party statute causes fractures in internal party solidarity and unity, creates groups to carry out activities to destroy the party, the revolution and the people, abandons the duty of the party member causes a break in secrecy, endangers the party, the revolution, and the people and party property, acts immorally, or does not participate in branch lifestyle meetings for three consecutive months, commits party discipline violations which are punishable lightly or severely as follows. A, a criticism or warning. B, a change of duties, a, removal from duty. B, de C, rejection from C, the party. party. Various punishments according Et to whether the violations were activities opposing the party, part of a continuous chain of such violations, party, or was treason against the party. Implementation of party Appliquer discipline discipline is done party, through detailed examination, analysis and deliberation, standing on the principle of absolute collectivity. De la to further understand Yang Sari's role and the other accused, if we look at Article 7, article 7 particularly in relation to Yang Sari, it sets up the structure of the party and the way in which it would organize itself. And I'll just read the first part. It states, Article 7 party organizational lines are as follows. Second part of paragraph 1, during the period of time between 1, slow down, during the period of time between one general Entre conference to the other, the highest operational unit throughout the country is the Central Committee. Your Honours, I won't read that down further, as we lecture. all can see it relates to the, the structure, administrative structure, de la structure um, that was in existence at the time, party, or legislated for. The important point was the Central Committee was the highest operational unit throughout the country. If then we move to the Central Committee task, and I, the reason why I do this, of course, is that uh, Yang Sari um, admits that he was on the Central Committee and the Standing Committee, in fact, which we'll talk about later. 
Article 23 Article established the task of the Central Committee, which relates to the role of Yang Sari. The tasks of the Central Committee are Voici implement the party political line and statute throughout the party, du parti instruct all zone and sector city organisations and party organisationals responsible de de for various matters to carry out activities according to the political line and ideological and organisational principles and stances in accordance with the task of national defence and building democratic campuchia and in accordance with the party direction of socialist revolution and building socialism. Three, Govern and arrange cadres and party members throughout the entire party, along with all core organisations, by constantly, clearly and closely arming them politically, sorry, clearly and closely grasping personal histories, political, ideological and organisational stances and closely and constantly arming them politically, ideologically and organisationally. Act in the, in the name of the party in contact with all brother, sister, Marxist-Leninist parties. Article 9 and 10 uh, is particularly relevant um, to Yang Sari, in terms of his roles and responsibilities, and that Article 9 relates to branches, and states every revolutionary cooperative, factory, military company level unit, worksite and ministry office may organise a party branch, provided there are three or more party members. I'll now go down to the tasks of the party branch at Article 10. And you can see those tasks are very similar to the duties that uh, an individual member has um, to the party in terms of converting the popular masses to the revolutionary ideas de gagner and les agitate uh, popular masses for revolution. Et de Very similar wordings in, in the statute. So I won't read that again. The reason why I mention it because it adds an extra level of responsibility un de um, for uh, an individual running a party branch parti, and extra tasks. And if we look at Article 6, organisational principles of the party, that article, in fact, assists in understanding the role of Yang Sari and the other accused, because it relates to how decision-making should be done, and it relates to how reporting should happen à la manière and how it should happen. Les rapports doivent if we look at établi. Article 5, Prenons organizational article principles of the party, du parti, Article 6, sorry, ou plutôt article 6, on it states the Communist Party of Campuchia le takes the principle of democratic centralism as its organizational foundation. En tant that is, all party leadership organisations must implement collective leadership and have specific persons holding responsibility. All the various decisions of the party must be made collectively. All echelons of party leadership organisations must be collectively appointed. In relation to reporting Concernant up and down echelons, 6.4 states, du bas vers et du haut vers le bas, sorry, I haven't got to that yet, but in relation to um, decision making, the minority respects the majority, la la lower echelon respects les upper echelon, respecte les the individual respects the collective, respecte le the private respects the organisation, and the various echelon organisations respect de the central organisation. At the designated times, 
the lower echelon must report to the upper, upper echelon on the situation and on work done. Also, at each designated même, time, moment, the upper echelon must report to the lower echelon regarding the general situation and regarding instructions which they may carry out, which they must carry out. That clearly defines the supervisory reporting monitoring responsibilities of a Communist Party member, and particularly um, a member in the central organization. And it clearly stipulates that decisions must be made collectively at each particular echelon level. That, Your Honour, we believe is highly relevant to Yang Sari's role on the Standing Committee, du du the Central Committee, and central, as Minister of Foreign Affairs, with, uh, des Affaires that has uh, CPK branches within it. Une the last article I'll refer to before I move on article. is just briefly um, okay, Chapter 2, Article 5. It states there's 10 criteria for selection into the various party leadership organizations. And those criteria seem to be criteria that requires a strong, stronger determination or a stronger stance than the regular members in order to participate in a leadership organization. You see it one states, the criteria for leadership, you must have a strong revolutionary stance on the party line. Two, you must have a strong party revolutionary stance on proletarian ideology. Three, a senior leader must have a strong revolutionary stance on internal party solidarity and unity. Four, a strong revolutionary stance on the lines of organization, leadership and work of the party. And five, a strong revolutionary stance on revolutionary vigilance, maintaining secrecy and defending revolutionary forces. A strong revolutionary stance on independence, mastery, self-reliance, self-mastery at six. Seven, a strong revolutionary stance in making and examining personal histories and revolutionary life views. Eight, a strong revolutionary stance on class. Nine, a strong revolutionary stance on clean life, morals, and politically clean. And ten, the capability to build oneself and be receptive to future leadership. You want to conclude. On this document, the statute provides terminer, compelling evidence that party members in their respective positions within the party were obligated to continue to defend and make a socialist revolution. To achieve, this, to achieve this, members were required to convert the population to this political ideology and agitate the population to participate in the revolution within the party the statute required them to participate in criticism and self-criticism sessions, respect party discipline, build their ideological stance in line with the party, strive for party unity and solidarity, and maintain secrecy with vigilance. The statute, in summary, at the level of senior leadership, created obligations and duties that were more onerous. At the highest administrative level, as identified in the statute, the Central Committee had the most responsibility to ensure that the political line was implemented throughout the country. Taken in its entirety, this statute legislates a behavioural template for which party members had to work 
in both their auquel private doit se conformer le membre du parti dans sa vie publique et dans sa vie privée this au cours de cette période du comportement démocratique. Par conséquent, ce document est essentiel pour bien comprendre le rôle et le comportement de Yang Sari et des autres period. accusés au cours de la période en question. Your Honor, if I now move, um, to à the présent, next je passe au document suivant. Particularly E3 slash five nine seven, five nine seven, which is an interview with Yang Sari entitled "Interview with the Yang Sari, Cambodian Revolutionary," interview with a revolutionary, which was reported in Le Monde newspaper on the fifteenth of January 1972. Le Monde, le in the interview, amongst other matters relating to military and political developments. De l'évolution de la situation uh, by the United militaire Front in Cambodia, dans le contexte du Yang Sari provides evidence of the extent parle of his role before 75 in the communist movement. His views on the United States and the CPK practice and importance of working with the population and organizing power through a disciplined hierarchy through committees at different levels. Uh, Khmer 0074-4036 and at French 0072-2245 and at English 0000-3963. He was asked, how practically do you organize the power of the people in the vast liberated zone that we've applied the funk program? It rests on the principle by which the people are the source of all power at all administrative levels from hamlets, villages, districts, provinces. Committees are functioning as the state apparatus. Further down at Khmer 0074-4036, he states each task is simplified to the maximum at each echelon. The number of functionaries is kept low to assure a disciplined political force among the people. Our cadres go into the villages to live with the people and direct the task of political, cultural and military education. They take part in Ils production production without receiving any pay and live frugally. In relation to uh, the extent of his work or the extent of his role de son rôle, as he de son entered travail, into um, the DK period as standing committee member, he states he answers this question. A people's war isn't improvised. Now yours must have begun, begun very recently. What stage of organization have you reached? Since 1951, we have followed step by step the criminal actions of American imperialism and its Cambodian servants. We have learned to understand the nature of this imperialism, which we have always fought, and whose intrigues have tended towards destruction of the independence and neutrality of Cambodia in order to transform her into a base for American aggression against the countries of Southeast Asia and China. We had for a long time foreseen the coup d'etat. We view that the revolution, that the evolution, sorry, of the situation in Cambodia and South Vietnam would inevitably lead American imperialism and the Phnom Penh clique to commit the heinous crime of March the 18th, 1970. In developing this analysis, we have over a long period carried out intense political work among the people so they can understand the profound nature of imperialism and its servants. Thus, long before the coup d'etat, we had achieved the political mobilization of the masses with a view to leading a long-term war of resistance. So on the whole, our people weren't totally surprised by the events of 1970. These last 20 years of struggle 
de lutte against contre French colonialism le colonialisme and American français et l'impérialisme américain have taught our people ont enseigné that à notre peuple in order to make que the revolution pour faire triomphe, triomphe revolution, it's indispensable to have at each echelon, echelon a guiding core composed of men firm in the principles of our political line and who know how to apply them in a creative way in concrete national conditions with very precise objectives. These men must be tightly bound to the people. The struggle must rely firmly on the most hard-working of the masses, the workers and the peasants. Your Honours, if I move to the next document, E3597, this is one other extract that uh, I submit puts um, Yang Sari's role in context in terms of uh, his beliefs as he enters into the CPK, um, the DK period in 1975. Of the document is E3-11, and it's an interview with Yang Sari Published in the Vietnam Sari, Korea on the 31st of January 1972, and he answers questions about questions progress of the Phuong and Grung resistance movement in Cambodia, with particular, particular reference to agri agricultural reforms des in liberated areas. Dans les zones These statements, Your Honours, provide insight at the time as to how people and land comment à l'époque il était prévu d'utiliser la population et les terres en cas de révolution victorieuse du PCK. Je donne les heures à 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
that agrarian policy pour in accordance concrétiser la politique with the agraire conformément au programme politique du fund we are carrying out nous réalisons intensive agitation, agitation work de among the peasants rich and poor parmi les paysans in riches order pauvres, to drive home to them that policy que la politique for its doit être appliquée au sens strict those who eagerly apply it are staunch fighters in our war for national salvation sont ardents combattants de notre guerre pour le salut national l'organisation de tous les paysans qui approuvent la réforme agraire into a patriotic peasants association we have encouraged the establishment of producers cooperatives de producteurs et de consommateurs to eliminate pour middlemen les intermédiaires in agricultural production agricole, the mutual aid movement has been largely expanded among the peasants. paysans in each fund committee comité du at all administrative levels un niveau administratif a responsible cadre un cadre responsable est nommé to see the development of production de la production whose main objective is to nourrir les combattants de notre guerre de résistance parallel to political education and the mutual aid movement d'assistance mutuelle les paysans have been endeavoring to improve two rice crops deux récoltes de riz par an in anticipation of a prolonged war, en we, we attach great importance to crops and the rearing of pigs and poultry. Your Honour, I would now like to, to move to 1975. Je passe à and 1975. by doing so, I would ask that um, we play uh, a video, which is E3 slash 305 1R. Your Honor, this is a video footage showing Pol Pot, Nguyen Yang Sari, Sun Sen, and other leaders of the CPK leading a rally at the Olympic Stadium with thousands of cadres in attendance and tens of thousands of others. The video we submit demonstrates the power nous, and authority font of Yang Sari and the other leaders possess as a group. Dirigeants. Your Honour, the exact date of this footage is not known. La date exacte um, it's so it could have les images ont été tournées n'est pas connue. During ça peut être n'importe uh, quel period, moment de la période du Cambodge démocratique, mais en tout cas, um, a number of those rallies that we've heard about uh, in evidence. Cela est indicatif. De plusieurs rassemblements dont il a été question. 4 minutes, 12 4 minutes 12 secondes. The President, Le you président. may proceed. Je vous en prie, allez-y. Service technique. Officers are now instructed Veuillez to à présent faire the passer l'extrait vidéo en question. Up on the screen. Just to be clear, on this video has no sound. Je précise ici que c'est une vidéo sans bande sonore.
Thank you, Your Honour. Your Honour, the next uh, document Merci. would be, or video, Le would be uh, vidéo, five minutes and 32 seconds, cinq minutes and that relates um, a bit more to Yang Sari's role, role as uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, of Affairs tant que albeit des affaires étrangères. They, can't, they can't really be split. Et on peut pas vraiment if Your Honour would like to see that video before the break, or should we break now? Peut-être avant la pause, ou préférez-vous prendre la pause maintenant? Your Honour, the, the document number is E3 slash 3201R. And it, it, it demonstrates Yang Sari's uh, role extrait, uh, with international voir. delegations. Um, le rôle de Yang Sari avec les délégations étrangères. In matters relating to significant state affairs such as relations with Vietnam. Comme, par exemple, This is a, avec le Vietnam. a video of a Vietnamese delegation. De, de uh, we do know the date. This is on 27 July 1975. 1975. From a document entitled le, Social Republic, Republic of Vietnam. Republic a visit by a Vietnam, Vietnamese delegation to Cambodia. Vietnamienne au Cambodge. It shows the Vietnamese delegation arriving, meeting, touring. And dining with Yang Sari, Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, Q Sam Pan, Von Vet, Von Vet, and others Nunchia, around Yang that day. Pot -Pot. The point um, and we would like to note et, um, is that what seems to be from this and other videos that will be shown visit, is that uh, de cet when vidéo, international delegations came, uh, the central committee, cet extra vidéo the standing de... committee. Um, Seem to meet together. que les euh, membres du comité permanent se réunissent ensemble et rencontrer ces délégations tous ensemble. S'il n'était même pas possible de projeter la vidéo. The president, oui. you may proceed. Oui. Every post officers are now directed to projeter la vidéo. Play back oh. this video as requested by the co-prosecutor. And your honour, I should have mentioned this one does have sound. Par contre, cet extrait a une bande sonore. J'aimerais le signaler. Comrade Sabatsa, who was a secretary of CPK, along with the other numerous comrades leading the party and state work, arrived at Ho Chi Tong Airport waiting for welcome to the Vietnamese Labour Party delegates with closely friendship, solidarity and warmest fraternity. This is the first visit of senior delegates of the Vietnamese Labour Party to Cambodia since Cambodia was totally liberated. There were thousands of Cambodian people and military personnel welcomed tremendously to the delegates of our party who were the close combatants of Cambodian people. In today's meeting, and talking in Phnom Penh, Vietnamese Labour Party delegates addressed warm acknowledgement from Vietnam for the valuable aiding and assistance with Duke National reconciliation by the ruling of Communist Party Cambodian people on the 17th of April 1975 and brought peace back to the nation. Le 17 avril 1975 et le retour de la paix dans notre nation. Essentially, the struggling of people in three countries brought an enormous victory. The ground of revolutionary of people within three countries in Indochina and third. Under the ruling of warmest congratulated for the glorious victory 
about visions Ça, of the brotherhood of Cambodian people. After the victory, Cambodian people tried to work hard with diligent and braveness. And only a few months after the victory, they had received huge success in expanding as brotherhood about the numerous issues which both parties focused on. Et Vietnamese les delegates and delegates from Cambodia, communist, Parti communist du Camp a party Chéa entirely agreed. Était d'accord sur ces points. With around 200,000 square meters, was being reminded of the historical glorious national building of Cambodia and strong relationship between Vietnamese and Cambodia and to collapse by its de way. Construction. In order to leave soon this historical meeting, Central Committee of Vietnamese Labour Party gave an excellent drawing and a set les, of les classical teacups and a, a picture decorated by letter solidarity, relations, thé, combating and friendship de la, between de Vietnamese Labour Party and CPK, de la solidarité entre le PCK, le Parti same de house. Vietnam. Every hands, while shaking together, attempted to return back to Indochina again after working together by heart for the ground of revolutionary to both countries and the world. On the 29th of July 1975, Vietnamese Labour Party delegates said goodbye to comrades with a deep sentiment and a memory of and to maintain the consequences of the revolutionary and try to work and build a lo the lo lonely nation, rather lovely nation, for friendly relationship. For this great relationship between two nations, we are the Vietnamese communists determined to implement entirely on the valuable message of Ho Chi Minh by trying to use all physical energy and heart to strengthen and expand relationship between Cambodian and Vietnamese, along with Lao people le Cambodge, as brotherhood le le on the basic Laos, of equal confidentiality sur, and mutual obligations for common interest for each nation. Et de réciprocité pour ces nations the president, since it is now appropriate moment for the adjournment, the chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 11 o'clock.